So Ezio doesn't come with a big sword, but then again, see, he's the uh, expert assassin. He's not supposed to need one, right? Hey everybody, Stu Carter here from Atomite.com, and I've got, from that smoking hot video game by Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed, I've got Altair, and from Assassin's Creed 2, I've got Ezio. So stand by for an Assassin's Creed toy review. Here's a good look at the boxes. Uh, first, uh, from the first series, this is Altair, this is by, these are by NECA, and I'll say right off, there's a problem with this box. Look how they made this, because they made the, the edge of the box too deep, and he won't stand up. I've got to put him on a stand. This one, they figured it out, and they got thinner edges on the bottom, so he stands up just right, which, is, which I like when I'm out here trying to show this stuff to you. Let's talk about Altair first, though. Uh, from the original Assassin's Creed uh, video game, and Altair is the character from uh, the medieval crusade era, and uh, he comes in white here. Looks like he's got an extra hand and a sword, and it says, uh, look at the back, it says retractable blade, removable sword and daggers, and a little bit of bio about uh, his missions back in Jerusalem in uh, 1191 AD. All right, we'll open this up in a second. Let's look at Ezio. And Ezio says 24 points of articulation. Well, that's good to hear because uh, NECA does make highly detailed figures, but often in those details it's hard uh, to get the articulation and the playability. Uh, you, sometimes it's hard to do both. And uh, on the back it says uh, there's two kinds of Ezios. You can get two versions, a black or a white. See, I got the black version. And uh, these are about $14 in stores. And uh, uh, I will seek vengeance upon those who have betrayed my family, only to uncover a conspiracy bigger than I could have imagined. I'm Ezio Auditore de Firenze. I am an assassin. Isn't that nice? And it did, did I say that it has a retractable blade? I believe it does. I, I don't see it saying that someplace here. And uh, the game, by the way, is age graded 17 up. So uh, you don't have to be 17 to buy these toys. Just uh, be aware of that. Well, you ready to take these out of the box and look at them closer? Okay, here we go. Man, get that fresh toy PVC smell. Here's a good look at Altera from the original Assassin's Creed, and he is well articulated. Uh, you can, uh, he's got several of these rotating ball joints. He's got them in the uh, ankles and uh, in his knees. He can rotate the knees and bend them as well. Uh, a little bit of hip flexibility, and he could twist his trunk up here a little higher, see. And uh, this, this hand will rotate into several positions. And then both of the elbows have these ball joints that rotate, and, as well as the shoulders. And then his head, see his hood is separate uh, around his head, so he can turn his head too. So that's pretty cool. So you're gonna be able to pose him uh, pretty well. Of course, a lot of details on the um, features. Here's a good close look at Altero's features. And uh, first looking on the uh, left hand with this retracting blade, and first off, hey, is he missing a finger? <laughs> is that from the storyline somewhere? Look at that. Oh, man. That's, uh, that's tough. Okay, and then he's got this retracting blade, I guess, I don't play the game, but I, I presume he's just a guy with a lot of gadgets, right? Kind of like a ninja warrior. So he's got this retracting blade. You just kind of slide it out, and he's got this little shave going there. Yeah, that's really dirty. That's really, that's fighting dirty. That's what you get from an assassin, right? They get no respect. And, and then notice the nice detailing on these uh, leather, simulated leather uh, strappings on his, on his arms and like little armor uh, on the outside of these and the detail on the armor there. That's really nicely done, huh? And you still get articulation. There's the uh, joint right there. And then while we're on the left side, then you've got knives. I guess this guy's into throwing knives a lot, right? And uh, these, these knives are retractable and you could put them in his hand, in his right hand at least, and uh, not in the left. And so you've got four of these throwing knives that you can retract uh, from his waist belt there. And then also, uh, you see the detail on the sword. He's got a broadsword. I'm thinking if Altair, if this assassin has to use his broadsword, he's way too close. He's in trouble. And uh, but again, simulated leather grip on the broadsword. And uh, I don't see it. Just the, the, the rest of the sword just looks ruggedized. It doesn't. I don't see any detail in the tooling or anything. It just looks like it sort of looks like it's it's seen, you know, it's been around, it's a little rough. And I'll put it in his uh, 
right hand here so it can pose right a little bit and then moving around a little bit to his to his right again you see the the leather protection he's got on his right hand doesn't have the armor so it's different from his left you see that yeah and you can pose this arm and his wrist will rotate it's got like a free ball joint there and so it can rotate and you see he even get some uh, veins in his in his hand and he's got an extra hand like with an open hand and that's going to be handy if he gets his one hand chopped off in a fight I think I wish I came with an extra hand but I, I take care of what I have and uh, I then while we're low like this you get the two two more of these throwing knives and then looking around his back he's got these this stuff on his back little pouts of stuff here I hope he's got some bandages because he probably need them and then what it looks like he's got some uh, smoke bombs or something or maybe it's just a little drink maybe some Gatorade and uh, another pouch on his back and then this this sword came detached in the package and uh, can be you know he slide it into this scabbard he's got I guess that's a little bit out of the camera view I'll fix that okay looking at the details up high you see a better look at his face and uh, and then you see these he's got more throwing knives you just can't if you capture one of these assassin assassins you're going to be all day disarming them now these throwing knives do not come out they're fixed in there's a little pack of uh, one two three four five small throwing knives this sword the small short sword will come out it was it was out in the package excuse me and uh, it will come out and you can put that in his in his right hand not his left hand I'll put it back in there and uh, he can turn his head in that hood. Uh, I'm coming for you. Okay, and we're not done looking at all the details on this guy. Uh, let's look down at his boots. And did I say this guy had a lot of weapons? Look at this. On his left ankle even, he's got another brace of uh, small throwing knives. Looks like uh, four down there. You can see the detail on his boot, the little... Uh, straps it's really kind of a, a a shin guard there kind of thing and then on his boot itself and he's notice even on the scabbard for a short even at the bottom at the base a nice nice simulated uh, metal tooling there and his uh, right boot no no blades there so and then a flexible kind of a skirt thing very interesting figure. Here's Ezio from Assassin's Creed 2. His articulation is perhaps a little bit less than uh, Altair's. Uh, what you get here, you get just a little bit of flexibility in the ankle, not a whole lot. The knees will bend, but they're kind of acting a little funny for me. They will bend, but uh, not a whole lot. I, and then I'm getting a little bit more of the hip uh, flex. That's good. And his trunk will rotate. Uh, his head will rotate and see that hood is detached and then uh, again the the uh, flexible uh, ball joints in the elbows and the shoulders and the wrists will turn which is good he doesn't come with a sword uh, but he has a retractable blade which I'll show you in a second here's a good close look at his head and uh, that trademark hood thing and look at how much detail they have it looks like he's he's wearing like as many as three or four layers of clothing it's not really that many it's more like two layers of plastic but and then you see this armor here and it looks like he's got uh, a leather straps holding the armor on it's really still just in the plastic but it looks like there's straps even and uh, that's all detailed in he's got the tooling on the armor plate and even uh, some fancy tooling looks like simulated um, silk on his tunic I see reds golds silvers and yellow colors he's wearing uh, some jewelry it looks like a silver necklace of some kind uh, very nice details there let's look at the back you see his, uh, his armor plating over his, the protective shoulder and then you see the back again it looks like leather straps holding on the armor and then uh, silver tooling on the armor at this point and then a cape comes down 
It's flexible plastic, of course. And uh, leather straps in the, yeah. Very nice. All right, let's look at the, the knives. Yes, yeah, so Ezio doesn't come with a big sword, but then again, see, he's the uh, expert assassin. He's not supposed to need one, right? If he's in a sword fight, he's kind of failed. He's supposed to sneak in and get you and sneak out. And then here's his retractable blade. You just pull it out. It's one retractable blade on his uh, left wrist here. And it retracts out. Oh, I just pulled it out. I think I can pull it back in. Yeah, okay, and then his hand will rotate a little bit as well. So that's on the left side. And then he's got uh, one, two, three, four, five throwing blades uh, on the left side of his waist belt. These stay in, they're fixed in. And then uh, he's got another brace of five on the right side of his waist belt there. And then look at uh, the details uh, on his uh, arm straps here. The simulated armor right there. Leather glove with armor over covering the fingers. And straps to hold this on even. Very nice. Again, and uh, the other one is different on the left side, different kind of uh, tooling. And you can see his, his frilly little, <laughs> the end of his shirt is kind of frilly, but a little bit dirty too. That's kind of cool. And uh, around on his back. I don't know, what has he got hidden back here? Yeah, he's got some other pouches. And then you can see the straps that hold down his armor or hold his pants up. <laughs> And he's got the, I wonder what he's got in those pouches. Maybe a snack. Maybe some Pop-Tarts. Yeah. And, and looking down at the boots uh, and leggings, I don't see any uh, hidden daggers. But being an assassin, I would, I would check them carefully if you capture him. Notice the details, the, the straps holding on the leggings. And notice the, uh, at the ends of his waistcoat, uh, silver tooling there. That's nice silver tooling on the back of his leggings and uh, little silver heels and uh, silver armored plate on his heels and on his instep, on his boots. And uh, nice uh, leather boot tops with silver details and uh, silver tooling on the front of his leggings. It's all very nice and detailed. Okay, so did I say they're about seven inches tall? And I'll have some still photos after this, and we'll try to pose them a little bit. And if you like my toy reviews, how about a thumbs up? And if you subscribe, you won't miss a single one. So until next time, have a good day.